Hey guys, it's Pope, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a training vlog. I am two weeks out from competing at USA Weightlifting Nationals. Getting really excited to compete. This is the first in-person competition since pre-pandemic that USA Weightlifting is hosting. There's only been online Zoom events and a hybrid event so far, and this is the first one that like everybody's gonna walk up on stage to compete against each other. So it's gonna be, I think, a really fun competition because everybody's gonna be eager to hit those lifts on stage again. It's especially exciting for me because this is my first competition back since having my baby, my first real competition. Those online meets just don't feel like real meets. This feels like my first meet back. And I've been training really hard for this competition and things are kind of coming together just in time, starting to creep up on those single numbers. I'm getting kind of close to my old pre-baby numbers, which is exciting. Earlier this week, I did a jerk double at 105 kilos, 231 pounds. And I was really pumped with that because my all-time best, I think, was probably 108 for a double. I have to like go back and look, but not far off from my best jerk. So I'm getting there on jerk and my snatch is starting to slowly creep back up. I hit a double at 79 kilos earlier this week as well, which was awesome. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, the caption on that double, I was talking a lot about trying not to compare myself too much to the old me, like pre-baby, because everything is different now. I had a C-section. I had to completely start over from scratch. Spent like six months just getting my body to function properly again. So I have to really like leave the old me weightlifter back in those old years and focus on moving forward and like hitting new PRs in my postpartum body and just trying to get better each day. And I think it's really important to point out that I'm focusing on that and obviously easier said than done, something I'm having to constantly check myself. But um, it's important because if I'm just comparing myself to the old version of me, then I'm not going to be able to enjoy the process of getting stronger right now. I'm just going to be constantly frustrated like, well, it's not as cool as when I did so and so, which it is really cool because I started over and I'm getting so much stronger and I'm making so much progress. But it's all like framing that in your mind in a positive way instead of like finding a way to be like, well, this other person can do this and and the old me could do this, so the new current version of what I'm doing right now isn't that cool. When in reality, you can frame your thoughts to find a positive in like any situation, especially when you're coming back from giving birth or from having an injury or maybe you just are starting a new sport, maybe you're a beginner and comparing yourself to like what other people are doing is gonna take away that joy that you can have in your own journey. So I want to talk about that a little bit and make sure I'm open about the fact that I'm working on that because I think that's really relatable for a lot of people. And um, just know that it is a struggle like to not compare yourself to other people or to the old version of yourself. But figuring out how to do that is going to bring you a lot more happiness in what you're doing. So for today's workout, I'm going to really keep that in mind. Since I am two weeks out, this is going to be probably one of my heaviest single like one rep lifts that I will do before I compete especially on clean and jerk and the front squat has been the hardest thing for me to get back since I had the c-section so I'm having to like really give myself some grace on the cleans and how hard they are to stand up and try not to get frustrated because my other numbers are all like coming up but my clean is going to be the slowest because my front squat is still a little bit weak so today I'm going to really focus on staying in the moment Focusing on moving forward with the progress that I'm making from last week and the week before and not comparing myself to what I used to be able to do and carry that over into the competition. Because all I want out of this competition is to hit some lifts and have fun. Like get a total on the board, enjoy myself, enjoy the trip, find some love in competing again. So I can easily check those goals off as long as I don't get like too in my head about that comparison. Kind of rambled about that but it's so important i think it's so important for the mental game i'm about to get warmed up for my workout we are going to hit some singles on snatch first then a couple singles on clean and jerk and then i'm going for a heavy back squat so this is actually going to be a really fun workout let's get to it
was a super great day, so I'm feeling really good heading into the meet. I got one more big day like this next week, and then it's taper time, which is going to feel amazing. My body is very tired right now. But I just hit a 123 kilo back squat. I think that's 270 pounds. And it was pretty easy, but I'm not going to push that anymore because I need my legs to recover for next week's training. But that's a great number that I just hit. Um, obviously a big PR for postpartum. My best is 142 or 312. I hit that in a powerlifting nationals way back when, a few years ago. So um, we got a little ways to go, but I'm creeping on up there with my leg strength. It's getting, getting back now. But I'm most excited about my cleans today. Hitting two strong cleans at 95 is really, really encouraging. I really want to get back to the triple digit 100 kilo plus on my clean and jerk. That's one of my goals for this meet. And uh, today that showed me that I think I'm capable of doing it now. My jerks were really weird, <laughs> but I had a strong jerk day earlier in the week, so I'm not worried about that. I finished on a good rep there at the end anyways. Snatching, hit some really good, like technically proficient lifts today. I would have liked to have hit a few more kilos, like 83, 84, but it just wasn't there today. But uh, a strong 82 is still pretty good for right now, especially since like I'm tired, you know. So after the taper, I expect that to go up a good bit. Hopefully, it'll 85, 86, somewhere in there. So yeah, that was a really great day. I've been out here for forever. <laughs> I'm ready to go eat, recover, and hit one more strong week of training. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I might get one more vlog in before the meet, not sure. If not, you will see a meet vlog from Nationals in Detroit coming soon. See you later. Bye.